Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and I am going to say something about Hearthstone that I haven't said in a very long time. This video is going to be a little bit different because I've just been at a loss of words. I've actually, something has happened that just hasn't happened to me in a long time. Before we get into that though, I wanna remind you all we have a giveaway going on. I'm gonna announce the winner of it next week where I'm giving away $200 of Hearthstone packs, so $100 to two different people and they can pick whatever packs they want. All you have to do is like a comment in the video in the description below, subscribe to the channel. If we hit 57,000 subscribers by next Thursday, I think it is, I will be adding another $100 to that giveaway. So hit that sub button, make me go broke. So what what is the thing that I, I can't, I'm gonna say about Hearthstone that I haven't been able to say it in a while it certainly isn't that the uh the meta is too balanced right now we went over that yesterday but for me i want to say that with hearthstone is i'm having the most fun and enjoying it the most i have in a very long time whether i'm playing standard whether i'm playing wild whether i'm playing arena whether i'm playing duels i've actually been having a really good time. And why is that? Why is that? Well, for me, I think back to a year ago, a year ago from, well, basically this expansion, we had United and Stormwind, which was like the most miserable time I ever had in Hearthstone. It was all about quests, which all played linearly. It was a frustrating experience that a lot of people really didn't enjoy. And since then, uh, the dev team has kind of listened and we had like promises, I believe from Korra, that the game would get more board-based, that value would come a bit more to the equation. And now that I've been playing in Standard and Wild and you look at the decks, it's like, hey, Imp Warlock, absolutely brilliant. Broken 100%. This deck is busted, probably should get changed. We're gonna go over possible nerfs and buffs in a future video pretty soon, but I wanted to let that uh, sit for just a little bit longer. But yeah, Imp Warlock absolutely broken. However, it's a board based deck that has almost zero reach from in hand. If it loses the board, it loses the game. And that's at least, you know, a step up from a broken deck absolutely murdering you from in hand with no interaction, right? Speaking of that, Quest Hunter still performing well. That's a remnant I would love to see go away. It's not very popular. I don't see it a lot, but the win rate keeps being good and I hate that. But then you look at Naga Priest, another top performing deck, another board-based deck, Face Hunter doing incredibly well. But again, this is a board-based deck. It pushes most of its damage with minions and then has like certain late game burn, whether it's an aim shot or even collateral damage, the eight mana burn spell, it's seen play. We all thought it was garbage. It's just so good when you double it up. Beast Hunter, really fun deck. I had so much fun hitting Legend with it. We even made the gameplay video. I rarely make gameplay videos. That's how much fun I'm having. That's another board-based, pretty much value-based deck that it does go for the kill, but overall, it's another board-based strategy. Control Murloc Shaman. I hate Snowfall Guardian, don't get me wrong, but it's another deck that needs the board to win. Big Spell Mage, it's a scam deck. It needs the board to win. Beast Druid, Evolve Shaman. And then as you get lower here, unfortunately, Celestial Druid is a deck that competes. And although it kind of fights for the board, it's a real scam. Mine Rogue's pretty uninteractive. Death Rattle Rogue. And then as you go down further, you'll note that the um, decks that are really good at like OT King, like a Boar Priest, a phylactery warlock, a curse warlock. Heck, you could put quest priest in that vein. It kills you with one spell. Are all much worse. There are much worse decks. I'm just kind of sad to see Demon Hunter absolutely sucking and needs a buff. And again, we'll talk about that. But to me, the design of the Hearthstone cards, the design of the decks have just been improving so much this year that yes, there is a big balance problem, but I'm having fun in Hearthstone. And I can't say I've said that in a long time. While it is a different story, I'm enjoying it for my achievement hunting series. Do dumb things. Things. I don't try and win, but Wild has a real problem and it kind of goes to this thing where the, there's a lot of board-based stuff. There's a lot of more kind of interesting archetypes, but if you take a look at Wild, take a look at the meta snapshot before the expansion, it hasn't changed a lot. Uh, the expansion hasn't changed a lot in terms of what's popular. It's just a lot of the same stuff that's not nearly as interactive. Pirate Rogue is more board-based. I don't actually despise that one too much, but when you're looking at tier two, you have so many decks that just free shaman does doesn't really fight for board. It just disrupts you the entire time. Quest Mage takes a million turns and Mechathune Druid obviously just kills you in one hit. Togwoggle, another combo deck. Even Warlock is board based, but again, Mechathune Warlock. And then like the big one, 
Big Priest has been really getting on the nerves of a lot of people lately with its interaction with the Neptulon. Neptulon's really hated in the Wild format, so there are a lot of issues in Wild with this, but that's more of the whole, you know, they don't balance it, they don't really nerf stuff, it kind of gets to this point where it's all out of control and not very fun. You see when they actually do go through, they feedback on these modes, Standard becomes, at least in my opinion, a lot better. There are, again, there are these horrible outliers in my opinion, like the Warlock location or a Denathrius OTKing a ridiculous amount. I think there's adjustments that could be made for those cards and we're going to talk about that maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm not sure when I'll do that video because we should have balance patch either next week or early the week after. However, I just think the direction of the game has gotten a lot better and that, that goes for Arena and Duels as well. Arena has had, it's got its win rate issues and all of that, but even if you look at like the high win rate cards in Arena, it's still a lot more board based. You don't have these skills Gam Colossal's really in there, although somehow there's a Neptulon in here. It's not even legal. How are they getting a Neptulon? Uh, but regardless, the Wild the wild Spirit cards are just, they're broken in Arena. Could get adjustment like 70% when played, even Wild Spirit, 66%. But again, it's a lot less of the creative by stuff. It's more of just board interaction. I've heard from a lot of Arena players, they've been enjoying it a lot more. And that's because the devs have been listening a lot on that. That's uh, Matt London. He's the modes lead on that, and that's been great. And he if you look through duels, uh, Elwyn Boar recently got nerfed that helped a lot. It appears a lot uh, less frequently in buckets and there's a lot of stuff. Like if you look at all the classes here, there are a ton of different decks to explore. And again, that's a big part due to, well, Atesh, who I have to shout out here. Um, Atesh Barak, the lead or now former lead of the duels mode, who is now moving on from the Hearthstone team. He's uh, gonna be joining that whole uh, unannounced survival game. Blizzard's doing so I'm extra psyched about that that's gonna look amazing but Matt London is now the best uh, point of contact for duels brawl and basically all the modes going forward so yeah Matt London the team the modes team have been doing a great job listening and all you have to take a look is six hours ago from when I'm posting this uh, hi new followers welcome this is when your one-stop shop for Hearthstone modes what's fun what's broken want to hear from you and I think this has been such a refreshing take from the dev team to just openly listen hear out what people are getting mad at what people are enjoying and figure out what to do and Atish was one of the best guys again I want to go back to that um I saw him take some of the most heated comments about some of those vile things I've seen said to a dev and Atish would always just respond Oh, that's interesting. Thank you for your input. And he would take, he said, every point of criticism, no matter how toxic, no matter how vile, there's a little bit of truth, a little bit of honesty in there, and it's valuable. All criticism is valuable, and you're seeing that. The team has really been responding, whether it's in standard, whether it's in duels, whether it's been arena. I've just been really refreshed to see this. So this is just an overwhelmingly positive video. I'm sorry, it's not a salty one, but I think that the Hearthstone devs have been doing a really good job listening to a large part of the community and making the game better. And I'm having a lot more fun. There's a lot of problems, don't get me wrong. There's things that are imbalanced. I think Wild still needs way more help than it gets. There's always room for improvement, but you gotta recognize when things are getting better, when they're listening. And if we keep going this direction, I see really good things for Hearthstone in the future. And that includes Battlegrounds. You see it in Battlegrounds too. Don't wanna exclude that, Mercenaries. Yeah, I don't really see that too much there, but hopefully, you know, they, you know, give coins some stuff. But at the end of the day, I've been enjoying Hearthstone. I've been having fun, and I hope that's been coming across in my videos. Even when I'm talking about stuff being broken or unbalanced, I'm, it's not like out of that pure anger, frustration anymore. It's like, how can we improve this? How can we make it better? Because the game's doing really good, and I'm having a good time. So again, just a rambling positive video where I just want to shout out Atish again, uh, who's leaving after six years. I, I Again, he was absolutely incredible to me. The team, from what I understand, the rest of the community, he's going to be sore missed it actually made me really bummed out but um i'm really happy that he's got a new opportunity and i cannot wait to see what this game's gonna look like because if he's working on it I, it just can't miss in my opinion anyways if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends <laughs>